I lost a 500k on drugs, a 5 million in the industry, Yaizo Yaizo actor Bobo Innocent Masuku opens up on his drug addiction. Yaizo Yaizo actor Bobo Innocent Masuku opens up on his drug addiction. No doubt he was dubbed as the next big thing to small screens, but in the wake of his newfound fame, he ruined his career. Actor Innocent Masuku has opened up about his drug addiction and how he ruined his illustrious career that spans years. He is best known for his on-screen character on Yaizo Yaizo as Bobo, a drug addict and a street hustler who knew how to get the job done. He brought the Ikosi vibe on screen, and Zansi fell in love with his unmatched acting flair. In the drama series, he starred alongside several big names on the small screens like Ronnie Nayakale. However, in the mix of things, he disappeared from the limelight only to be spotted in the streets. Mzansi was more than puzzled about his welfare after it was established that he was battling drug addiction, only to be forced into rehabilitation. He has since bounced back and shared his side of the story of how drugs and fame ruined his career. In an interview with MacG and Soul on Podcast and Chill, he took Mzansi into his woes. Masuku left Mzansi shell-shocked when he revealed that he lost about a 500k on drugs. However, in the backdrop of his addiction, he even lost at least a 5 million in the industry because of his drug addiction. I spent more than a 500k on drugs. Actually, when I combine all the money I lost in the industry at least 5 million. He has it to keep up with his bookings and club appearances. He took lines of cocaine to keep up with his busy schedule until he was an addict. In the mix of things, he even pulled a shocker when he revealed that he used to go three to four days without sleeping when he was high on cocaine. With cocaine, you can go for three to four days without sleep. You can shut down for two days straight, sleeping. On the other hand, he could have a shutdown for two three days sleeping almost half dead. In a bid to keep up with his addiction he ended up trading assets like cars for cash to keep up with his addiction and this worsened the situation. The first few years when I tried to quit drugs with all my heart. I had so many problems and lost out on so many opportunities. There are many things I could be counting and could have done. But you know what in life, there is always a second chance. Leave your comments in the comment video below. Don't forget to share with your family and friends.